Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a brand new day. Let's just get this out of the way right here right now. There are a lot of hauls in this video. I desperately need clothes for the summer. All the clothes that I own for the summer are old. There's not a lot of them because I recently did a purge and I donated a lot. I have an Amazon haul, a Banana Republic factory haul, which is my favorite place to shop for clothes at the moment, which is so weird. It's Friday. Do yourself a favor. On Friday, ask Alexa what the happy Friday thing is. I'm pretty sure that's what I ask her. Or like ask her like, Alexa, what does happy Friday mean? And it will start your weekend off on such a good note. So from now on, I'm gonna ask her at five o'clock every Friday, which does anyone else's Alexa? I feel like when I talk about her, I have to whisper. Like she's the friend that when you, when you talk about her, like their ears, they hear everything. I work from home on Fridays and I'll be sitting here and she makes like a noise and she's like, happy Friday, wishing you like a well weekend ahead. You made it through the work week. I don't know. It's so nice. I love, I love her. I can't say enough good things about her, but we know this. Let's look at some stuff that I got from Amazon because quite frankly, I would really like to put it away. I bought these socks again that I love them. $18, six pairs. I like the tall sock look. Like it's very athletic, you know, you should be like squatting weights, but I'm short. I'm five two. So these are like the perfect middle ground. When I find a sock that I love, I hoard them which I'm very picky when it comes to socks. I don't know. They're super comfortable. They look really cute with sneakers. I broke my wet comb when Mike and I were in Napa. Like I was just being very aggressive. We all know I have zero to no patience, especially today when I'm PMSing. So I had this for a year and then it broke. Handle split off because I was just aggressively washing my, washing my hair. I was aggressively brushing my hair. I haven't curled my hair since Napa because I didn't have this. I like to comb my curls with this because it keeps the curls intact. Whereas when you go in with like a paddle brush like I have, it just completely destroys the whole curl. So I rebought this because I broke it. I know I said I'm on a makeup no buy, but I did buy two makeup products. I am slowly but surely pushing through my Dior bag backstage concealer and I wanted to try this because the commercial, it got me. I feel like there's no product in here though. True Match by L'Oreal Radiant Serum Concealer, 1.5 Hyaluronic Acid and Caffeine. I'm still gonna buy lipsticks and lip liners because I wear them and use them all the time. But this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. I cannot tell you the last time I owned a ColourPop anything. I feel like that'll look really good with pinks, which I've been wearing a lot of pink makeup lately, specifically blush. This is MAC Glow Play. I love it. It's like a beautiful pink, but also I've been wearing a lot of pink lipsticks. So we will try this together. I will wear this tomorrow when Mike and I take Grammy out to brunch. I'm so excited for this weekend. Mike and I are making plans. We are doing things. At least in my head, I'm making plans and doing things. I should probably check with him to make sure that all the things I have in my head are a go. But we're definitely taking Grammy out to brunch tomorrow. I'm so excited. I want to go buy her flowers. I want to buy her wine. I haven't seen her in a while and I really miss her. My battery just died. I am like powering through camera batteries. But I was saying that Grammy's probably gonna watch this video because she watches all my videos. And Grammy, I love you. And I can't wait to have brunch with you tomorrow. So I'm very excited for that. We're all gonna do that together. More socks. This is gross and maybe TMI, but my flats get like stinky because I don't wear socks in my flats. I had so many of these guys. I got rid of them. I never wore them. And then of course, the second that I get rid of them, I'm like, oh, my flats are a little stanky. These are the low cut ones, a pad on the bottom for like support. I don't know if I like that, but you know, and then they have little grippies to grip onto your toes, like gels. I just, oh, yes. Well, as long as they stay on, but you can't see the sock probably see the hair on my legs though. So don't look too closely. I just, I love a ballerina flat. I don't know who she is, but they feel very slippery. Like, I don't know if they're gonna stay on, but I will keep you posted, let you all know. I really like these flats. I hate applying self tanner, but I love brushes. Like I'm, I'm weird like that. I think that's why I like makeup because it makes me feel like I'm painting. I'm like stuck in here. Okay, here we go. In my head, I'm thinking if I like a brush, like maybe I'll just like, yeah, I'm really gonna like that. I'm gonna like painting my tanner on. <gasps> We're gonna do this together. But look, at it's like contoured, so it'll like hug. Yes, oh my God, yes! I'm gonna be so tan, so soft. I'm very excited for this. This was pricey. This was $18, but if it's gonna get me to not look so pasty this summer, because y'all know I don't tan in the sun, then it's worth it for me. I have breakouts on the back of my legs. Although now I think like the breakouts aren't that bad because I've been using Paula's Choice, 
her 2% salicylic body spray. It's like to help combat acne. I bought this because I thought this would be good, but I'm kind of scared by the packaging. If it cleans, I don't know, but it's an antiseptic cleanser and it has a lot of like warnings on it. It could cause permanent eye injury. Injury? My mouth just did a weird thing there. It's supposed to be like a wound wash. The doctor that I follow here on YouTube, the dermatologist, Dr. Iris, Idris, I always say it wrong. I'll link her channel down below because I love her. She was saying to use this for body acne. I don't really want to show you, but I don't know if you can see from there. It's like spring, summer, and I have like all these little like dots on my legs from acne that I've gotten. Can you see? I don't know. I don't really want you to see. That's like not a flattering shot of me, but so I bought this to use. Um, so let me know if you use this. Hibiclens? Hibiclens. I don't think that this is me, but I want to like embrace the summer this summer. And I really, I don't know. I love yellow. I don't know if I'm going to like yellow on my fingers. This is OPI, regular, schmegular nail polish. Exotic birds do not tweet. I, I love birds. We all know. Have, I'm having a thing with birds lately. I love listening to them. I love watching them. Is it because I'm getting older? This is the serum that comes with the new face. It's supposed to be like what you use to conduct. I did not like this last time that I tried this, but I think it will make my new face zappier. And by zappier, I mean more powerful. So we'll try that in the AM because I did new face my face today. I've been doing it three to four times a week, which is the most that I've ever done it, but I've really made it a part of like my morning routine, which I'm so happy about. Do I have anything else? Let me know what you think about these shorts though, because I hate shorts, but I wasn't really triggered when putting on these shorts. I think because they're just like so big that I don't see any of my leg. They hide the part of my leg that I don't really like. So that's why I think <laughs> that I like these shorts. I put so much effort into being active, just like maintaining my overall health and my body is a reflection of that. So like, why do I like to drown it out? I don't know. I just feel most comfortable in it. And this is not who I used to be. I've never liked shorts, but I really used to love crop tops. I just feel like, I feel comfortable covered. I don't know. Is that like what your thirties do to you? I'm not so sure. I really like this outfit. I feel very like, Tennessee mom, not like Tennessee, like Nashville, but like playing tennis, especially with the shoes. There's a fly on my window. Granted, it's on the outside, but today, guess who came back? Guess who's back? The stupid spotted lantern flies. Not on my watch. They will not be overtaking the yard. Oh my God, we got a new bed. We got a king bed from a queen bed. And I feel like Mike and I are gonna be like sleeping on different continents. How big is this bed? It's pretty freaking big. Mike and I would touch when we sleep. I feel like we don't need to touch at all, which honestly is why I didn't want to get a new bed. Mike and I went on two vacations in April and we were in king beds every time. So, you know, I feel like I also don't mind the real estate at the same time, but I will never admit that to him because I tell him all the time how sad I'm gonna be when we are not sleeping on top of one another. But this is exciting. I have not worn these shoes outside. Let me know if you're one of these people because I feel bad, but I nag my husband and I think I drive him insane. I don't like to wear outside shoes inside. And I know that's annoying, but I just think it's gross. Like when my husband wears the sneakers that he commutes to the office in, no. Especially not in the bedroom, especially on carpet. On carpet? No. I just think that that's gross. Oh, I also bought this and I didn't save it for my Amazon haul because I wanted to use it. But if you have tattoos, I really like this. Mike found this and I was gonna steal it from him, but he told me to buy my own. So here we are. Hustle Butter Deluxe Tattoo Care. I was doing really well using this for a few weeks and then I started wearing my Van Cleef bracelet, you know, the gemstone one, tattoo lotion gets on the gemstone and I feel like that's bad. So because I've been wearing that, I really haven't put, been putting any tattoo care on my tattoos aside from like my body lotion. This is a new ordeal that I didn't know I'd have with that bracelet. But FYI, if you are thinking about buying the bracelet and you have wrist tattoos, we might actually ruin the bracelet. So if we use tattoo care, I'm gonna see if Mike and I wanna go to dinner. We might go get sushi and have some wine. I definitely want some wine. And I have to show you the wine that Mike found. He like follows like wine people on Instagram because the man said he's not a wino, but please take note all. I really stopped drinking after my dad died. We all know this, like the, the drinking and not being sober kind of sent me a lot of times. So being sober has been helping me through my grief. It's better for my mental health, I think also. But I feel like when I drink a glass of wine, it's like I have to enjoy it. Oh, also for my mental health, FYI. 
just tacking this on. Um, I have stopped over caffeinating myself. I still drink about six cups of coffee a day because that's what Mike makes me every, every night. Um, he makes me coffee and then it brews in the morning and his coffee tastes so much better than mine. You guys know, I was really on a Celsius kick for a hot minute there. I can't do that anymore. I have, I can't even tell you the last time that I had a Celsius, like any extra caffeine aside from my morning caffeine, it's out. I cut it out. And I gotta say, I feel like I'm a little less manic. So yeah, it's just water for me and lots of water. I've been drinking at least like 75 ounces of water a day. We're gonna go grab sushi. I wanted to show you the fit because I have not worn this jacket yet. I got this at Banana Factory and I feel like this is the end of the season for it, but it's like a pleather dark brown with my Banana Factory top. I'm gonna bring my most used bag at the moment. I just feel like this ties it in. My Hudson jeans and the shoes I bought in Nashville, my Nikes. Don't look at the mess. I'm going through all of my spring summer shoes and donating because I have a lot that I just hoard over the months and don't ever wear, but this is the fit. Honestly, should I wear this bag instead? See, like this goes with everything. It's like damp out though. So again, story of her life. She goes with everything. She's like the perfect neutral for my wardrobe, but it's always freaking raining. This is the fit. What do we think? Let me know. Do you even care to see my outfits? I'm just trying, I think, to like reinvent my wardrobe and like who I want to be, which means donating a bunch of shoes because I just feel like my styles have changed. You know, I'm like a high top Nike girl where I used to be a Jimmy Choo heel girl, but those I'm going to sell. I should make some money off of them. I really have like so much cleaning to do when I get back, but Mike said he's going to watch the Knicks game. So while he watches that, we shall clean. All right, let's go get sushi because I'm starving. I honestly don't even know what whites we have down here. That's a cab. Oh, those are all reds. Do we have any whites down here? I think we have a, oh, a Chardonnay. Yeah. Buena Vista. No, can't drink that. Let's do this. Chardonnay. All right, I've secured the goods. Buena Vista 2020 Chardonnay. Thoughts? Perfect. Happy Friday. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Good morning. I'm on my second cup of coffee and it's 7 a.m. We slept in our new bed last night. Sprung out of bed at 5.55. So the bed must be amazing because I'm usually in bed until like 8 o'clock. Got so much done this morning. I did want to bring you along with me, but I just did the dishes. I journaled. I read. I'm in the process of switching out my closet. I know I said last night that we were going to clean together but we went to dinner, I had two glasses of wine, and then we came home and honestly, I just went to bed. I'm trying to swap out my closet, and you know like when you're trying to clean things, but everything becomes a mess before it gets better? Like, whoa, my closet is a mess. Here's a new face device if you don't know what it is. I've only been using my Peter Thomas Roth gel mask as the activator, conductor, I should say. I feel like this is gonna send me to a whole other level. I don't know if you could see that, but there's a lightning bolt right there. Um, so I feel like this is gonna burn. I like this though. This is like fancy. Oh, if I remember correctly, I don't know if they changed the formula. Maybe they did. But when I used to use the serum, you had to use like so much and it's expensive. I think it was like $55 for this. I had a gift card though for my birthday. So that was nice. Oh no, it like feels the same. Okay. Oh, but I feel it like... It's not like stinging, but I feel my muscles like cramping more. Like I feel it deeper in my skin. My face is gonna be really sore after this. All right, I'm gonna finish this up, drink my coffee and watch some YouTube videos and then we'll regroup. Like I feel like my face worked out and it's sore. Wild. Surprise, it's pouring again today and I took my suede bag out and it rained on her a little bit. And now I need to find another bag, but I need like a bigger bag to carry all the things that I need to take because Mike and I are gonna go grab some food and I need to carry like glasses and oh, I'm so tired. I mean, I was really happy that I woke up early because I got so much done, 
But waking up at 5.55, I was ready for bed at like 2.30. And now, I don't even know what time it is, but it's 5.30, which is like very early for dinner. I like don't know which bag to bring. Maybe I'll bring this one. That doesn't really go with my outfit. It doesn't really go with the outfit. This is a struggle. You know, for someone who has so many handbags, you would think that finding a handbag to go would be fine. But like, I don't have, I have a white handbag, but I think it's like too early for white. I'll bring my Valentino bag, I think. I haven't worn her in a bit. Or I could bring my Goyard bag. This I like don't really use except for in the summer. I don't really think this goes, but like, I don't really think that this outfit is giving anyway. I was dressed so cute today. You didn't see me at all. I wore a yellow, really cute yellow Jason Wu dress that I got from Rent the Runway. And the yellow looked really good with my complexion, but now I'm tired and Mike and I were joking, but we were at the mall and I was like, I've hit my limit, like I'm done because I'm just, I'm exhausted. I don't really think that this bag goes. Does this bag go better? Guys, I need to sell a bunch of stuff. I guess like this goes better, but please ignore my mess. I need to, we like weren't home all day and this is what happens when we're not home all day. I just throw crap everywhere because I'm just rushing. But I guess the black goes better. What do we think? I haven't worn this in a really long time, which is a sin. I feel like I, I wear the same bags on repeat all the time. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I'm a mess, I'm a mess. I'm like cleaning and so overwhelmed at how much crap that I have. But also, how did this happen again? How did this happen to me again? My wet brush, it literally broke in my hair. I wash my hair on Wednesdays and Saturdays and today's Saturday, okay? And look at this. I literally went like this and it snapped right in half. But then I went on Amazon to buy another wet brush. And why do all the wet brushes all say all the reviews? so that they all break. I had a wet brush for like a decade plus. I got rid of it recently because it was decrepit and I was like, I'll just buy a new one. Well, guess what? These are very bendy. My wet, my other wet brush was not bendy. They don't make these like they used to and I sound like an old lady. And now I don't know what to do because on Amazon, they only sell wet brushes that look like this. I have a makeup bag addiction. What's the problem? Lord knows, why do I need this many? This is my work bag, like my work makeup bag. I got a hairbrush. I got all my work makeup, most of it. I talked about in this video, I will link it here. This one I used to throw in my backpack every day before I went to work. There's still a lot of stuff in here, but then this one replaced that. Like this is my everyday necessities. I love this pochette, but I just don't like them all around me. And then this is my travel makeup bag that I keep. Now that the summer's here, we're gonna be bopping around. Good morning, happy Sunday. Well, it's my Sunday. Happy day to you. I'm gonna do my new face, but I just wanted to tell you that yesterday. This makes a really big difference. Like I love my Peter Thomas Roth because it helps to hydrate my skin and I just enjoy the mask. But this, oh, it made like a noticeable difference. Like with Peter Thomas Roth, my face is lifted, but with this, I looked 10 years younger. I tried to leave this on. I started working out and I started getting sweaty and my whole face and my neck were like itchy. I still hate this. I'm gonna use it to conduct it, but then after I'm gonna wash my face. So I just wanted to give you that little update. very scatterbrained all over the place. I was gonna go for a walk, but then Mike and I are gonna go for a walk outside. So I might not go walk on the treadmill, but I kind of want to go walk on the treadmill. I don't really know. In the meantime though, I donated so much clothing. I have this whole bag that is filled to the brim of clothes. I have a whole other bag that's in my walk-in closet. I'm trying to put together things to bring to the beach house and leave them there because every year, I don't know why, I bring things back and forth and back and forth and I kind of just want to go. Like I want to be more like free spirited and like Mike's like, let's go. I just jump in the car and I know that I have things there. I wanted to just show you guys like what I'm going to bring. I don't know, this hat. When I'm home and I go for walks, I kind of just wear baseball caps. So this is my beach hat. So I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. Little workout set, little shorts and a sports bra. I'm going to bring this sweatshirt because you guys know I bought a Tim McGraw sweatshirt that I wear a lot at home and my Napa sweatshirt. I'm going to leave them here. So I'm going to swap this one 
to the beach house and I feel like, you know, it's soft. I love this sweatshirt. One of my old coworkers bought it for me. It's from California. Aloe dresses. I bought, I think like four or five of these last year. I think I'm gonna bring two down the shore and then I'll leave two here. I have this one, which is like a tennis dress. You guys have seen this before. This one's also like a tennis dress. It has a built-in sports bra. Um, is this a skirt? Yeah, it's a skirt. So I find like, I just wear these more often down the shore because they're like sporty beachy we could go for a walk in them these are just like pajamas very tommy bahama-esque in my mind beach cover-up that i washed and she's ready to go for a brand new season i love my extra wide headband from kitsch i use this to hold my hair back to wash my hair it comes in a pack of three on amazon so i figured why am i hoarding the two that i'm not using here i will bring one down the shore. Here's a little L.L. Bean bag that I love this bag so much. I love the long shoulder straps. I have two of these. I bring them everywhere. I have my hat in there. I don't know. I've been thinking about donating this, but I feel like this is just a cute like clutch when we're going place to place. I have so many like brush holders. See if I can fill it with something for like organizational purposes instead of it just sitting in my closet. Favorite sunglasses. These are from Michael Kors. They're so old. I got them when I interned there like 11 years ago, but I find that, you know, they're not like the cutest, but they stay on my face really well. I'm like pretty active whenever I'm outside at the beach house. Like Mike and I go for walks. I'm hoping we can play tennis or pickleball. Now that my hip is finally feeling better, I work out outside and these stay on my face. I could do burpees. I could do like jump squats, whatever the heck. I could basically just jump up and down. Paul Mitchell Super Strong Shampoo. Paul Mitchell Clean Beauty Hydrating Conditioner. Catch all that I'm so excited to use this summer. That's a little evil eye. I'm gonna need my makeup. Toiletry bag that I brought to Nashville. I brought to Napa. I should grab bathing suits. I ordered a bunch of bathing suits from Bloomingdale's because for my birthday, I asked for Bloomingdale's gift cards. All my bathing suits are like five plus years old, so I definitely need new ones. I got them in the mail. I'm not trying them on though because I'm bloated and I'm PMSing and I just don't have that in me for this vlog, but I will try them on with you at some point. All my bathing suits. I'm just, I'm going through everything this weekend and I like kind of feel good about it, but kind of feel terrible about it. This one's looking like a little decrepit. Maybe I should get rid of her. Maybe I'll leave one here in case we do something. You know what, I'm just gonna pack them all and then I'll vet them out as we go on. All right, lovers, as promised, I'm gonna do my banana haul in just a minute. I threw on a little bit of makeup. My skin is not happy, okay? We all know why. I'm not, I don't need to readdress it. I'm feeling a little crappe today. So I thought I would just do what I've been doing every day. And I really feel like the routine I'm on has been really helping with my mental health. And I feel like getting dressed every day and putting like a little bit of makeup on. The makeup that I throw on every day, it takes me five minutes, maybe like seven. No more than that though. I'm gonna use the ColourPop lippy pencil that I bought on Amazon. This is in Ashton. I follow Alana Rama here on YouTube. I love her videos. She's doing Everyday May, which it's like Christmas. Every day I wake up to a new video. I really liked the lip pair that she did. She paired this with the new Dior lip oil in lilac and it looked so pretty. I am running really low on quite a few lip liners. So like, look at this little nub. My Bobbi Brown one is finito. So I thought, you know, if I use things, I can repurchase. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, that's what makes me feel better. One in, one out. But I'm gonna wait to buy the lilac on. This just, yeah, that's like a really good nude. It matches the shadows of my face. Do you sharpen this though? I kind of just like hate pencils that aren't wood pencils. Oh my God, last night, all we went to dinner, we got like a bunch of fried food and you all know I've been eating like really healthy. I'm not kidding you when I tell you. I took like two bites of a fried pickle that's like this big and I instantly felt my stomach be like, do you really want to do that? Since I've been eating healthier and changing my diet, my stomach is so much better. I've always been someone with gut issues, but my stomach's been feeling so good. Eating a lot of proteins and a lot of fruits and vegetables. I would say it's like a little bit more cool toned. Really great color though, wow. And it looks really good with navy, which I've been wearing a lot of navy lately. Let's see, I think I need like pinkish tone. Do we just wanna do 001? Yeah, that's a good lip. That's the lip. Wow, it's like very youthful looking, the combo. Oh, see what I don't like about this and ColourPop always did this. I haven't owned one of these in a long time, but I just feel like you have to push the cap on to hear that snap. And then it's kind of hard to take off. Listen. 
hear that? All right, let's try some clothes on. And then I wanna go outside and have a glass of wine. It was supposed to be cloudy all day today and the sun has magically stayed out. Ooh, look, I also wanted to show you. I've been just like going to the drugstore every time I run out of body lotion and trying a different drugstore body lotion to just find the best one. I have really dry skin and I do like the Nivea one that I'm using right now. I'll show it to you in a bit. I just feel like it might be a little bit too thick for the summer. And I used to really like Vaseline. So I decided to get the intensive care, calming, healing, moisture, lavender. Is it lavender or am I just saying that? Am I just saying that because it's it's purple? I don't think that this actually says lavender. I think I, I think I just assumed. Oh, it says it has lavender in it, ha <laughs> ha. Isn't that funny, marketing, how it, you know, it tricks the brain? For me, I love lavender products. So I'm like, oh, that will calm my nerves because the neighbors that play loud music all day long do not calm my nerves. I'm wearing those shorts that I was wearing the other day. I really like them. Everyone is making these like bucket hats. And this is exactly what I wanted. Do you remember me saying I wanted a woven bucket hat? I just feel like every hat is too big on my head. It is so cute. And it was like $20. What do we think? What do we think? It's like an olive color. I like to cover my face from the sun. So I'm thinking I need to buy a little bit. I need to invest in the hat department. That fits better. This one fits better. Oh, I think I like these hats. Yeah. <gasps> but I think it has drawstrings on the inside to make it tighter. Oh my God. Is that brilliant? Oh my God. That's brilliant. Does this one? Oh my God, that is amazing. Oh, you just like pull these, tie it and make it tighter. Wow. That's like game changing. Okay, I'm definitely keeping this. Every time I can I go to Nordstrom, I try hats on and he laughs at every single one of them because they all just look crazy on me. But like, do we like them? I don't know what happened to this one. She got a little squished. All the things I purchased are from Banana Republic. I think this skirt is a little too big. This is a size small. I just thought this would keep, was cute. Like it's shorts that look like a skirt and I don't own very many skirts. I like the shape of it. I just think that like it's too big in here. It's not very me, so I'm gonna return this, but if it fit, I might like it more. I just feel like it's a lot of fabric and knowing me, I don't think I'm gonna wear this. I like pajama pants, I don't know. They looked better in my mind. This is extra small. I just think it's like a little too tight. I don't know. I liked this because I'm really into the blue. See, I feel like it's kind of like pulling here. So it looks a little tight. I feel like they're kind of like very Hamptons. And like, what if I put this little hat on too? You know, like, does this look the part? Do I look the part? I kind of look the part. I got them in a different color in a bigger size. So we'll try that on. Okay, these are not the same. Like clearly they're different. I can't explain, like these are heavier and they're way too big. The material is like a heavier material. Oh, this sucks. I need like an extra small and a half. These look silly on me, don't they? So I bought this pair thinking that I could maybe wear them to work. They're like wool though, kind of, even though I feel like this is a summer, spring, summer color. Whereas this is like a lighter, almost like linen material. Okay, hear me out. These look a little crazy, but I feel like if they were ironed, they're kind of pretty with the pleats. They're just like linen pants. Again, that looks like a skirt. This is like a trend that I want to look good in, but it just doesn't translate well on me. But again, I don't know. Like, could these just be really cute, like fun summer pants if I ironed them? Let me know. I need to know. I need to know all the opinions. I feel like these could be my like sweatpants pants. You know what I like though, is that they're a good length for me and I'm 5'2". Like, I could hem them a little bit, but I don't have to. I like that I can wear flats with these and they're not like dragging on the floor. I don't know guys, let me know what you think. I really like these. I just, I'm wondering how to iron them and if they're gonna stay. But that's the life of linen. The life of linen, you're always wrinkly. But I kind of really do like this. I feel like my hats in my new hat collection are giving me life. Like, what do we think? I like the pockets, I like the flow. I'm not loving this top by itself or with the pants, so I think I'm gonna return it. It looked really cute online. I just thought it'd be like a cute, little creamy because I love creams. It's a little too boxy and I don't mind when the shoulders are off, but they're like so off. Now I have this t-shirt in a different color scheme and I find that I wear it a lot. So I just wanted to get it in a bit of summer colors. I think I like this. What do we think? Does that color look good with my complexion? I don't know. I still don't know about these pants. 
Like I feel like this is too oversized to like throw a t-shirt over. I think I need some kind of shirt that I'm gonna tuck it in so you can see the waist so it doesn't drown me out too much. But I feel like this is, okay, I'm gonna keep this. I feel like the colors look good on me. They're complimentary to my skin. It's just like a good t-shirt to throw on because I need a bit of basics. I need to build out my summer basics. I thought like the neckline was like interesting on this, but I don't know if I really like this. It's a little big in here. I feel like it's not very complimentary to my arms either. I feel like it just doesn't cut me off right. I really like the black and white though. Very classy, but I think I'm gonna return this. This shape is perfect. It's just like too big, see? I gotta see if they have an extra small, but look, this is the black. I also got the navy and I also got the white and these would be perfect basics. This is the soft stretch tee, but I, it's very feminine. I like this cut on me. I just feel like it's kind of flattering, except it's not because it's too big. Yeah, it's a no. Um, I need this top though in an extra small. See, like this is the kind of suiting I want to look so good on me because I love it, but it just always misses. Am I just like too petite? Is this just like too big? I mean, clearly these pants are too long. I'll bring you down. Um, I think this vest is too big, but I'm not 100% sure. I feel like it kind of is. I feel like I could use a two. This is a four. And I like love these pants, but I just feel like I look a little silly in them. Granted, if they were hemmed, I would have to get them hemmed. Do I look like a clown? But like, I love the pink. I love the cream. I really want to keep this, but I just don't know if this, this looks too big in here, right? Do I need a two? Should I try this in a two? And it's really comfy up here. And I like these kind of like billowy pants. I just feel like this, like if I go smaller, will it be too tight in here? I don't know. Why is this happening? Let me ask you. <gasps> Cause I really like this. It's so soft. Is this too small? But I don't feel like it's small. <gasps> and I like this color. It's making me feel insecure. It's just not flattering like in this region. I'm definitely gonna return this. Oh, if you could feel it though, it's so soft. Oh, it's so soft. I just want to try like these belts on with this dress. Sometimes when things look ridiculously large on you, a belt is a, a good idea. Yeah, I like this. This looks like expensive. And then I got this other belt. I'm going to keep this. I like this color. Again, it matches my YSL. I like that there are no holes. You get as tight as you want. You know, you don't have to land on a hole and wish that you were in between two. You know, that sounds a little perverted. See, like there's a last loop here, but I can't get to it because of this. So that's, it's a little annoying. This is a little too big. Maybe that's like the vibe. Maybe this is where it's supposed to hit me. Well, that's kind of cute. What do we think about this belt? Like, does it need to be here or no? Like, where do people wear their belts? I don't know anymore. I really have no idea. If there's one thing you must know is that I love a summertime sweater. This is a size small. I feel like this is huge. I also put these pants back on because I'm trying to get a feel for them. I feel like I just might feel uncomfy right now because I'm bloated, but I feel like I might love these on like a regular basis when I'm not feeling gross in here. Um, but this is a small. I have an extra small and I'm going to try that one on because I feel like this is a little too big. It's definitely better. I just don't think I like the tank. I think it makes me look very wide. And again, accentuating here my arms. What's going on with this? What? I mean, I've... I'm normally not self-conscious about my arms, but these cuts are not flattering them. So it's a linen blend button down. I don't know. Do I look crazy or do you think that this would look cute? I want to like this. I just don't know if I like it. It's cute. I just don't know if it's like really me, but like this is who I want to be. I don't know. I feel like this could be cute. <laughs> Maybe this. Let me know your thoughts. I feel a little crazy. I saw this blazer and was kind of like cute. I, I actually think I kind of like it. I don't know if I like it with this shirt, but like for work, this is a vest. Why did I just call it a blazer? I have one black vest, but it's from BCB. BCBG and it's so old. I thought this could be a cute little like summer edition. I just don't know. No, I don't think that this goes, but I just want to see like what the vibe is. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of liking this blazer but I could also be crazy. I don't have, I don't think I have anything else to throw on with this. Sweater is so nice. I think I need it in an extra small though, just cause I feel like the arms are a little bit big and long. I really like this though. I hope they have this in an extra small. 
I shockingly like this um, and I think I'm gonna keep this. I know it's like just a big dress, but it has pockets and it's flowy and I really like the colors and I feel like this could be really versatile. Like could wear this to the office, maybe with a belt. Let's try that belt. Yeah, I don't know if this belt fits. Does this belt fit? Does this belt look cute with this? I just feel like it's kind of big. I also got this hat. I love a bucket hat. I just wish that bucket hats loved me more. I have a pea head. This is gonna go back. It's okay, because I think I love this enough for everyone involved. Oh, yes. I bought a trench coat. I have never in my life, I don't think I've ever owned a trench coat. And it came in petite. It's a lot of coat. I look like a ghost like about to haunt you. It's, it's cute. It's just a lot of coat. Right. We're being invaded again. Cheers. Cheers. I wore these glasses to match the wine. This isn't gonna last very long. Chardonnay. Oh yeah, because why? Because of all the lantern flies? There's like a bazillion of them. There are a bazillion of them. They're everywhere. You're coming over here? Yes. Can't ever enjoy the great outdoors. Can't, break. can't catch a break here. Is there one on my face? Because it feels like it. No. <laughs> I mean, babe. They're everywhere. I know. It's really bad. Yeah. We could go inside if you want. I mean, look at them all over the back of that chair. Yeah. No. I know. We're being invaded. We've been invaded. They're all over my chair. All right. Well, that lasted a long time. A total of one minute and 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, well, you know, cheers. Oh, and there's a giant spider on your chair, too. Did you get it off me? Can you run your hand? Oh, no, I thought that was him. Can you run your hand through my hair? Run your hand through my hair. Thank you. <laughs> Great outdoors. <laughs> we need an indoor porch. Let's just sit by the window with the window open. <laughs> Babe, I think I'm going to keep these shorts also. Yeah, I love them. Are you just saying that? I just feel like they're shorts that I'll actually wear. Right. What a time. All right, we're back. You miss us? That was like a Chloe um, going outside. <laughs> she goes out and then she comes right back in. Buena Vista 2020 Jovita Selection Chardonnay, Santa Rosa, California. <laughs> Nice. I can't believe that this is what an ounce of cheese looks like. I feel like I had eight ounces of cheese every time we had a wine tasting in Napa, which is disgusting. Joys of counting. Would you guess that this is what an ounce of cheese looks like? It's a decent amount of cheese. I just feel like... I feel like it's a little bit more than I thought an ounce would be. More than you thought? I cut them thin though, also. But It'll be good because I'll get to taste all of them and I won't mess up my macros. I just realized I forgot to try this on and I really like this, but again, I think the top, well, I know the top's too big. So I got to see if I can get the top in a two. What do you think about the pants? I like the pants. They're comfortable. They're comfortable. And I feel like if they were ironed, They'd obviously look much better. I might order this get up in a two. Like this is the vibe I'm trying to go for. Not this vibe, but like sophisticated lady. Like bouge. I wanna look Hamptons on a budget though. This is my vibe. I just, I need it to fit, to insert it into my life. I'm retrying on all the clothes that I'm probably gonna keep. In deciding, I put these two together, the linen top and the peplin, poplin, I don't know pants. Now, this is the lifelong debate in terms of me, my style, with my husband. This is like what I want to look cute in. This is when he says I look like a potato sack, but like I really want this to be my vibe. What is our thought? I need to know. A sophisticated beekeeper, a sophisticated gardener. I kind of love these pants and this top is definitely growing on me. And it doesn't look super huge like everything else. Let me know. I need to hear the opinions in the comments, please.